So first things first, we need to go ahead and take this 3D print off the bed. Hopefully the tape will help. It should be relatively easy to take off because of the tape, um, but sometimes I do run into issues. like stuck parts. So I couldn't twist them off, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the tape, and hopefully they'll start coming off with the tape. I might have to use a scraper. So for these lower pieces, the ones that pretty much are just surface area on the glass platter, those are the ones that are usually harder to take off. So one thing I do recommend is using some of that Elmer's invisible glue, the purple glue, or using uh, painter's tape. I do sometimes prefer the painter's tape. Well, I, I do prefer the painter's tape because of cleanup and with the tape, you're able to use it for more than one print. With the glue, you have to clean it off after every print and apply a new layer before the next. Okay, let's go ahead and fast forward through this song. So I printed out two cases because I wasn't really sure which one was going to be used. Now this first model is the one I prefer because of the space requirements and it looks like it fits a lot better. Now the issue with this case is that the pins on the PIR sensor stand too high. So in order for me to make this case work, I would have to either bend the pins or solder the wires directly to the ESP8266, which I really rather not do because there's pins already attached. There's, there's no reason to mess up a good design. So I went ahead and decided to use this longer, more slim case. It does have a lot more room. It's not as sleek as the other, but it can be fit into narrower spaces, which is a huge plus. Now, when I was installing this case, um, I was placing the frontward standoffs on first, which was preventing the power, the mini micro USB adapter, um, from being accessible from the cutout in the box. So I had to pretty much take the whole thing out, position it on the standoffs that are further away from, furthest away from the PIR sensor, and then snap in the front standoffs. And it fit pretty much perfect. And here I'm just applying some hot glue to keep the connection together and everything from falling out of place.
And pretty much now all I have to do is make sure that it connects to the Wi-Fi network and that it's detecting motion. 